Although we've come <coughs> to, to the end of Riverboat, <laughs> still I can't <laughs> let you go. Fourth on fourth and one, <laughs> maybe on fourth and two, <laughs> maybe on fourth and two. <laughs> hey, y'all, I got a couple questions for y'all. Rodney, What's up? if you've only won four games all year, and two of those games came against me. What does that make me? Unlucky. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I got another question for you. If you scored a season high 40 points against me today, again, what does that make me? If you scored a, if you have a season <laughs> high in rushing yards against me all season, what does that make? If you have not You're had my a, female dog. If you have not had a rushing touchdown in almost two seasons and you score one finally against me, what does that make me? In the words of uh the great West Coast rapper from Oakland, too short. Yeah. <laughs> I got one more question. I got one more question. What's up, man? If I'm a quarterback and I continuously throw the ball at my receiver. But he can't catch it because there are three other defenders around him. What am I like? What's wrong? What's going on with me? You're mentally incompetent. Mentally incompetent. Wow. So as a head coach, how do I fix this mental incompetence? So if I'm a head coach and it wasn't my job, I wouldn't really care. (laughs) If I was an interim guy, I wouldn't really care because I'm going anyways. Look, welcome back, y'all, to another episode of Under Construction. Hey, y'all. I'm Vince, the realtor. To my left is Rodney Richardson, a.k.a. Y Pops. To my right is Jamal. We're probably going to go with sad black fan Darby again today. Uh, I think perturbed, angry. Depressed. And off camera, we have our production manager, Mr. Uh, Tyrone Kaiser Kirk. Say what's up, Kirk. What's good, y'all? I am not related to the baby. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we, we're going to try and give you a quality episode today. But unless you missed the game, uh, Carolina took another loss, moved themselves to five and eight, I think. Five and eight this year uh, after taking a 20 to four woodshed slack into the now four and nine Atlanta Hawks. So you want to hear something interesting? We won't have back-to-back winning seasons for at least another two years. At least another two years. <laughs> Minimum another two years. Can I, can I tell y'all something? What's, What's up? up? Y'all are not helping with me right now, man. Hey, man, sometimes you got to pour everything out. So what Lay we're going to do, we, we actually got a lot to talk about today. A you lot. know, coach, coach got fired. Um, some, some, some personnel got moved around, you know, there's some trade rumors going on. So let's, let's try and pick our spirits up and let's, let's try and get the people what they let's want. Let's go! Right? Let's go! So for, first, and, <laughs> first and foremost, Carolina Savior, Mr. Uh, Cal Allen, uh, 28-41. 293 yards, uh, touchdown, two interceptions, two fumbles, one lost fumble, finished with the uh, QBR of 76 today. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, 11 rushes, 53 yards, 11, rece- 11 receptions for 82 yards. DJ Moore actually had another good game today, but he only had four catches for 81 yards. Um, Eric Reed led the team in tackles again. again. He led the team this in tackles. This is not a good thing. He tied with Luke. He tied with Luke today. He, we'll give him that. He tied with Luke. But it's still the, bad that he was amongst the leader. And Luke. guys, go. Go. Why is Kyle Allen passing the ball 41 times? Why is Chris McCaffrey only running the ball 11 times? Why is uh, Mr. Greer not playing at all? Why are we giving almost 170 yards rushing? Up? Why is Luke Keekley even pay, playing past the second quarter? Why are any of the premier players playing past second quarter? Why did the starters even play today? Why are we doing this? <laughs> it, fe- it feels good. Why is Atlanta our <laughs> why, didn't they, why didn't they switch to New Orleans? 49ers. Like, at halftime. <laughs> I, I, look, I'll, I'll, I'll go. I, I'll, Rodney, a couple of weeks ago, mm-hmm. you made some very, very good points. On on why Ron Rivera should not have kept his job, and I mostly agree with all those points. Let me say, let me let me confess to y'all that I have changed my tune a little bit in the last I don't know week or so. Last week on this show, 
I question whether or not this team is less talented than we think they are. Now, I don't want to overreact because we have a one-game sample after Ron Rivera has left the building. So I don't want to overreact and say, look, I told you guys it was the players. I don't want to say that. But at the same time, I'm thinking more and more and more and more. Like, maybe these guys that we have on this roster are just not as good as we would like them to be. I have alluded to the effect that k Wan Short's injury has, has been way bigger than anybody has made it. We see these gashing holes. Uh, if I see one more team ranked 25th or below, <laughs> gaining almost damn 200 yards against the Panthers, I don't know what I'm going to do. Interim coach can't fix that. Nope. Ron Rivera couldn't fix that. Nope. Eric Washington couldn't fix that. Nope. Again, guys, somebody please give me a logical argument explanation as to why you think the w- that we have the talent to actually win a division, let alone be in the playoffs. Because the people on the radio and the Panthers fans are so so blind that any move that we made would, would, would be assumed to be a great move. Me and Vince called it this offseason. We're not going to make the playoffs. And I, I, I hate to be vindicated, but we're right. Yeah, yeah. The, the, Hold on. So, to be so, fair, though, that prediction wasn't looking so good five, six ago. games into the season. There's 16 games no, no, into the season. No, no, no. Even still, even still, because when Kyle Allen came and he went on that four-game winning streak, I was still saying we wouldn't make the playoffs. And Roddy Cosign, because the rest of the NFC was, was looking so, so great. The NFC West true. at one Yeah, we did say. Yeah, the NFC West at one point was looking like they may send three teams to the playoffs. Oh, yeah, side note. Remember I said that the, uh, the Rams, the Rams won't make weren't them making make the, playoffs. the playoffs either. And, Negro Nobles. And, <laughs> and the Saints, at a minimum, have had at least a two-game lead on this the, the entire season. season. Right. And I think it was the game where they lost to the Bucks. Uh, we had a chance to, to, to close, close that, gap. that gap. And I can't remember who we played, but it was a team that we should have beat. Good. And we ended up losing that game. All right, something that's been on my mind today. For for some reason, um, the the Amazon Prime special has been resurfacing on social media lately, and there's this clip of Ron Rivera basically getting in the Panther, uh, the Panthers players' asses at halftime. And I look at that, and that's kind of a microcosm of what I've been thinking the last couple of weeks. I, th- we've said a lot about these players not winning their one-on-one battles. Mm-hmm. We've seen it the last six or seven weeks, man. So the more and more I think about Ron Revere's firing, I'm just like, eh. I, I understand things are getting stale. I understand Tepper's need to not feed into mediocrity. I get that. But at the same time, I, I'm second guessing just a little bit. Now, I'm not saying I totally disagree with the firing. Please don't take it that way. But at the same time, man. I just don't know if I put all the Panthers' failures on Ron Rivera, man. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm changing think, my tune a little bit I, on that, I don't man. think there's anything Rivera could have done to keep his job. Panthers could have gone undefeated and won the Super Bowl. I think Tepper wanted his, his guys. guys. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I don't believe that because believe because that. if you look at if you look at I the think little, Tepper wanted his guys. Yeah, if you, his interview said, I want to put my stamp on the organization. No, 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 no. Marty Hurdy. He no no he didn't say he wanted to put his stamp on the organization. He said he wanted to wait before he made that first football move. However, however, he might have said I wanted to wait, but it, and but in the back of his mind he's like, let okay. y'all slip up and well, not I mean, make we've the been hearing rumors about Mike Tomlin for weeks now. But where where's the logic if if Ron Rivera is winning? Where's the logic in getting rid of him? No, no where's the logic? logic in because I, I I'll tell you why. If Ron Rivera wins, that's not. Tepper winning. That's the previous regime. That's that's Herney. That's, that's Richardson. Herney and Richardson. That's and yeah. Because, I mean, we do it all the time with with Gettleman and Herney. Well, that's not that wasn't really Herney's team. That wasn't really Gettleman's team. The same thing would have been said of Tepper and Tepper being coming from Pittsburgh, being a competitive guy. He wants when the Panthers become successful. He wants people to say, "Wow, Man, look at, how look Tepper at what Tepper did." I don't. I, I can't I, rock I, with that. I, I don't. I don't see a, a, a win is a win. He, he yeah, wants exactly. To win. He wants to it, look. Look, it's, it's, if, if we win a super, if we want a Super Bowl this year. It's still credited as David Tepper being the yeah. owner. Ultimately, but it doesn't mean anything. Anybody can be the it owner. Means everything to him. <laughs> no, <laughs> it, it, that's exactly my point. It means oh. everything to him. If if, to, Tep, if if that was a case with Tepper, 
I genuinely believe he makes some of these moves as soon as he comes in. Because if you look at the last year, if you look at the interview that he did, he said he there, there's two parts to running a football franchise: the business side and the football side. And he said, when I came in, I wanted to make an immediate impact on the business side. And he has made an impact on the business in side a big of way. When, in a big when way. it comes to him being here in the city. But he said he didn't want to be too brash. He wanted to wait and, and feel things out before. <laughs> but no, he no, made no, no owner is going to come in in week one, fire the most successful coach in franchise history. He's not, of course, he's not going to do that. Now <laughs> he's a player. He, now well, he's, the bar isn't exactly too high. But this is Carolina we're talking this about. Is, that's true. But uh, hey, there's only one stat that, that matters the <laughs> W, right? So. The thing is, it would have been remiss for him to do that. Now he's got plausible deniability. Well, Ron Rivera wasn't getting the job done, so now is the time to enact my plan. That's my point. He hasn't gotten the job done three the past four years. Yeah, but that like, goes you back. Can't give him a pass. Look, I, look, you might not want to give no, him look, a pass. I'm not giving him a pass. I, I, I I'm, 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 I'm just saying, Tepper, nice th- th- <laughs> this, this was all. This was just Tepper was just delaying the inevitable. He's always wanted to bring his guy. Now we see with the reports that's coming out, it's not just Ron. He's looking at replacing. Herney's probably gone. He wants to bring in those Pittsburgh guys. He's he knows. Here's what I want my football franchise to look like. See, I, I don't. I'm, I'm I'm kind of unclear about the Herney thing. I he, think we all are. He, he he gave him credit for being like an excellent college scout. The first round pick, he can make it for me every time. Right. But, but the problem is like he allowed Temper allowed Herney to sign uh, Shaq to that big extension. Woo. And if he, if he's about to leave, I don't let my my old my, GM right. sign. The guy I think the it's a deal. position change because correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't the Panthers hire an analytics uh, director this season? I think they might have. So I think they did. It wouldn't surprise me, you know, Herney is not an analytics guy. He's an old school scout kind of guy. Right. So there's some value to having him on the team, but Tepper has made it clear he wants the franchise to be analytics run like like a lot of them. We actually heard that on the broadcast today about how the Panthers may be turning the corner and becoming more of an analytics driven type of team. I I, I hate analytics personally, but if they believe that's going to be the future of the franchise, then go for it. We'll it, see what it, happens. Internet it has, has its place. It, yeah, it, yeah, it yeah, needs yeah. to be mixed with that eye test, too. Right. If, with if with football properly, guys. If you use it properly in, in, in its context, it works. 